Greetings everyone and welcome to another special Halloween Closer Look. Today I thought we'd take a look at my complete collection of the Resident Evil movies, both the live action ones and the animated ones, because I recently filled in a bunch of gaps in that set and realized, hey, it's been quite a while since we last took a look at these. Let's see how the collection has grown over the years and how it's changed. Now, as most of you will know, I like the Resident Evil movies. I enjoy the games as well. Um, do I consider the Resident Evil movies to be the definitive adaptation of the games? No, absolutely not. But I think they're fun. They're fun sci-fi, horror, action movies with some good scares. You get to see a lot of the big showcase monsters from the games in live action, which is always fun. And, I don't know, it's just, it's fun. It's fun. There is a new Resident Evil uh, movie or series or something on the way, uh, which uh, sounds like it's going to be a little bit more of a faithful adaptation of the game story and world and everything, so I look forward to checking that out. I just like all things Resident Evil, honestly. Some of the games I've been kind of iffy on because, you know, I just didn't like the controls in them or whatever, but... Um, but overall, I've always enjoyed the franchise, and that extends to the movies as well as the games. So, my Resident Evil collection. We got Blu-rays, we got Steelbooks, we got 3D Blu-rays, and all kinds of goodies. So, let's check them all out, today, on the Multimedia Chronicles. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, quite a lot to go through today. It's a bit of a, a big collection within the collection, so let's head straight on down to the black table and check it out. Alright, so first up we have the original Resident Evil. I pulled out the old J cards just so you could see. So here in Canada, as I mentioned before, it's a Future Shop exclusive. Well, was a Future Shop exclusive because Future Shop doesn't exist anymore. Um, and, of course, in the U.S., these same Steelbook editions were Walmart exclusives. I would have thought Best Buy, because Best Buy owns Future Shop. But, uh, but nope, Walmart. Go figure. Anyway, we just turn it over here. You can see there's quite a lot of stuff. So, basically, everything from the old DVD editions was ported over in terms of extras. We'll uh, go over all of that in a moment. So, let me just... Uh, take this off here and we'll get a nice look at the artwork. Yeah, I actually really like these steelbooks. I think they're uh, very classy indeed. There's the spine. And then on the back. Then if we actually open it up, you can see the full sort of expanse of it there. So, yeah, these are really nice. Really nice indeed. So then inside, uh, not too much in the way of interior artwork. We have the, uh, the movie, of course, uh, Blu-ray there. And then we have the bonus disc. So this is the same bonus disc that was available on the Walmart exclusive. This is the exact same edition. So if you were in the States, you might have got it from Walmart. But here in Canada, it was from Future Shop. And... There we go. So moving on to the second one. So once again, these all came out uh, at the same time. It was uh, around the time that the fourth movie was coming out. So they uh, put all these steel books out as kind of a cross promotion with that. And I snapped them up. So my longtime viewers might remember uh, some update videos from back in the day when I originally got these. Uh, so once again, all the extras carried over from, uh, where is it here? There they are. They're, all the extras carried over from the um, previous DVD edition. Oh, speaking of which, I should go over the extras. We'll do that in just a second here. So here's the, uh, here's the front cover. Very nice. Mila looking badass as always. 
And there's the spine. I'll show you all the spines together after as well. They uh, they all go together quite nicely. And there we go. So then if we just pop it open. There we go. Very snazzy. Very shiny. You can see it's shiny. The uh, logo and Mila here are kind of glossy. And uh, the rest is kind of this metallic sheen. They all have that aspects to them and then here we've got slightly different interior artwork looks like uh, kind of metal metal plating uh, exact same bonus disc that was in the first one as I say all all um, of the I think it's first three came out at the same time so they all included the same bonus disc now let's just quickly go through the extras for the first two quite nice there we go so on the original Resident Evil, we have, let's see here, we have an alternate ending with director Paul W.S. And Anderson's uh, video introduction, cast and filmmaker's commentary. That, by the way, is one of the most fun commentary tracks I think I've ever listened to. Even if you hate the movie, listen to the commentary track. They're just having a blast with it. They got uh, Mila Jovovich, Paul Anderson, uh, Michelle Rodriguez is on there. It's just, it's so much fun. Uh, and then there's a second commentary with some of the visual effects crew. Uh, we got 12 featurettes about the making of the film and My Plague music video by Slipknot. Yeah, and of course the score for this was, uh, was co-composed um, by Marilyn Manson. Loved the music in this. It's, uh, it's just such a great score. And then for Resident Evil Apocalypse... We have, uh, ooh, seamless menu navigation. Yeah, this, when did this come? 2010. Blu-ray was not that new by then, but anyway. Uh, commentaries featuring director, cast, producers, and writers. 20 deleted scenes. Corporate malfeasance featurette. Game babes featurette. Symphony of Evil featurette and a six-part making of documentary. So yeah, these uh, these editions are, are pretty nicely loaded with extras. I gotta say, not uh, not too shabby. They definitely don't skimp on the bonus features there. And then next up we have Resident Evil Extinction, which I've always thought is kind of the Mad Max one, <laughs> where uh, Mila gets superpowers. But it's also kind of like Mad Max, because it's largely in the desert. I actually like this one. This is uh, probably my favorite of the sequels. And then on the back, there we go. All kinds of goodies. And then, get a cleaner look at the artwork there. And the spine, once again, same design. Black with the white text. All lines up very nicely. And then there's, there's the back there. And finally, if we open it up, there we go. Very nice, very nice. Let's move it over a little bit. There. And then inside, uh, well, it looks like this time we have sort of very subtle crows flying in the sky. Very nice. And the Blu-ray. And then, once again, oh look, it's that exact same bonus disc again. So this bonus disc essentially just has, uh, I don't know, about 20 minutes worth of featurettes about the, um, the whole series up until that point. So it's kind of a recap of the story and, uh, and a little bit of behind the scenes stuff as well. So it's, it's pretty nice. So you can just take a look at that. We'll go over the extras here. So, for Resident Evil Extinction, we have deleted scenes. Doesn't tell you how many this time, but uh, we've got Filmmaker's Commentary with director Russell Mulcahy, writer-producer Paul W.S. Anderson, and producer Jeremy Bolt. A sneak peek of Resident Evil Degeneration, the first Resident Evil CGI feature film. I should mention, that feature film, the um, animated one, came out in a steelbook at the same time as these. 
as well. Um, these are all uh, uh, special features ported over from previous releases. So some of them have, you know, I guess previews of stuff that was already out by this point. But um, yeah, sadly, I did not get the Steelbook of Degeneration. I did get the movie, though. We'll take a look at that uh, in a little bit here. Um, and then we have making up featurettes. Alice Vision, pre-production. The Big Bang, shooting Resident Evil Extinction. Bigger, Faster, Stronger, The Undead Evolve. And finally, Vegas Visual Effects Miniatures. So it also has the Blu-ray Wizard feature. Create your own playlist from the special features on the disc, and Blue Wizard will not only remember what you watched, but also what you liked. And Under the Umbrella Picture in Picture features interviews with the filmmakers and cast, storyboards, production photos, and behind-the-scenes footage that runs concurrently with the movie. This feature is only supported by Picture in Picture enabled players, which um, I'm pretty sure everything was. And it looks like, just looking back here, it looks like the sec the yeah, the first two movies have the Blue Wizard feature as well. That's something I've never used, and I don't know anybody who's ever used it. I usually just go through the extras manually and just watch them in the order that I want to watch them. I mean, I, I don't need a freaking playlist of them. It's not like I'm going to be coming back and watching the extras a million times. You know, <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just kind of silly. And then when the fourth one came out, hey, look at that. Another Future Shop exclusive steelbook. And yes, once again, this one was available at Walmart. So there we go. Uh, in the States, that is. Uh, it was available only at Future Shop in Canada. So, And there we go. This is, this is the sequel where things get kind of ridiculous, but uh, I don't know. It's still fun. I mean, and hey, we got the Axeman. You know, we got the Axeman. Can't complain too much about that. Um, so there we go, there's the spine, and there's the nice, clean front artwork. So if we open this one up, we'll just take a look underneath here. There we go, so that's the full thing. So it's actually kind of a wraparound cover this time, which is nice. The rain sort of continues across the back there. Now let me just double check something. Yeah, so we got this uh, little pamphlet from Sony. Make believe. It's kind of promoting. What's this? 3D World. Oh, I guess in introducing the 3D World created by Sony. This must be when 3D was just kind of hitting and uh, becoming the big thing that it was for several years. So we take a look inside. We actually have some interior art to speak of this time. Yeah, look at that. We got the split face zombie and nice uh, umbrella logo for the disc art. And there we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So let's uh, just take a look at what we have on this one for extras. So this was actually the first 3D one of the franchise as well. They never went back and post processed the first three, but four, five, and six were all done in 3D. Uh, the Steelbook does not have the 3D edition, in case you're wondering. So, special features. Get inside the creative process of this action spectacular with behind-the-scenes featurettes, a filmmaker commentary, and check out a speak... speak sneak. Yes, a sneak peek of Resident Evil Damnation. That's the second Resident Evil CGI movie. Uh, and feed your appetite for the afterlife with these Blu-ray exclusives. Includes Undead Vision, a picture-in-picture -picture track, deleted scenes and outtakes, and five additional behind-the-scenes featurettes. What, no commentary this time? Huh. Disappointing. Anyway, there you go. That's Resident Evil Afterlife. The cinematic masterpiece that it is. Yeah, it really isn't, but it's, it's goofy, cheesy fun. I know. Hardcore fans of Resident Evil, I know, hate these movies, but... <laughs> Whatever, I like them. And speaking of the 3D version, I also got the 3D version. Yeah, I actually just picked this up recently. Uh, those of you who watch my updates will probably know that. Um, it was $10. <laughs> so, of course, you know, while it came out at the dawn of 3D home media, just the, the revolution has come, 
it's now, of course, the death of that revolution. It's kind of dying with a whimper. Uh, so a lot of 3D titles, which used to sell at a premium, are now dirt cheap. So if you've been looking to stock up on some 3D stuff, now's the time to do it. Anyway, this was 10 bucks, Not too shabby. I figured, yeah, for $10, bucks, i will grab the 3D version. Sure, why not? Um, all the same special features on here, obviously. But uh, if we just crack it open here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Bring the 3D experience home with Blu-ray 3D. I'm pretty much every single, pretty, pretty sure that every single one of these is now $10. Um, I know I saw Monster House for 10 bucks. I might actually grab that one. But um, yeah, look at that. The future is here. Now you can be in the movie. Whoa, man. That's crazy. Oh, you know what? I just realized something. Uh, this explosion here is actually the background of the cover art. That's actually kind of cool. Like, from a packaging perspective, I like that. So, it makes it more 3D because it's on the other side of the, the clear case, right? Huh? Huh? Yeah, you can see the, the back of it there. But, uh, very nice. And uh, basically the same disc art that was on the Steelbook edition, with just with the addition of 3D to the name and no interior art underneath. But, uh, but yeah, there you go. Gotta love some 3D action there. I'm actually planning to get a, um, a VR helmet, because you can watch 3D movies in VR. There's like an app that puts you in a uh, virtual theater. And then you just kind of sit in the sweet spot in your little virtual reality theater and you watch your 3D movie up on the virtual screen. So, yeah, it should be kind of cool. I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, here we have the fifth one, Resident Evil Retribution, which, um, again, was a Future Shop exclusive. This may be one of the last things I bought at Future Shop, actually, before they uh, closed their doors. Because I know it wasn't long after this that they... Uh, were uh, shut down, basically, and rebranded as a Best Buy, or just shut down entirely, as was the case with many Future Shop stores. It's definitely the uh, the end of an era. So, here we go. And then if we take a look, this is actually a really nice uh, steelbook, if you take a look at the, the artwork there. This was the one that kind of turned the, the lore of the movies on its head a little bit with some startling re revelations. Relevations? Relevant revelations, yes. Bit of a tongue twister for you. And if you crack this open, I think this is a wraparound cover as well. Uh, actually, no, not really. <laughs> You'd think it would be. You'd think it should be. But it isn't. It's actually just two different shots of city destruction and then inside there we go that's our uh disc art very nice uh, colorful disc art that's something you actually don't see very much anymore unfortunately so we pop that out we have there there's some wraparound artwork we got some nice uh interior art very colorful interior art that's really nice good job good job and there we go. And, of course, I wanted to get the 3D version. And, hey, guess what? It was also 10 bucks. So I was like, okay, I'm down. I'll get that for 10 bucks. Sure. And uh, there we go. And there we go. I don't think there's any fancy schmancy stuff. Uh, yeah, no, there's not really anything here. This does, however, have a second disc of extras. So I think this edition might have some more extras on it. Let's take a look here. Or it might just be they needed more space for the 3D version, so they moved the extras over to a second disc. I don't know. But it looks like we have some interior art here. Let's uh, take a look at that. Oh, look at that. Very nice. Coming at you. Fantastic. Yeah, that's uh, that's really snazzy. So let's uh, let's take a look at the extras here. So the Steelbook edition 
we have outtakes, drop undead creatures featurette, and filmmakers and cast commentaries. And Blu-ray exclusive extras, we have deleted and extended scenes, six behind the scenes featurettes, and Project Alice, the interactive database. Oh, doesn't look like any Blu-ray wizard stuff this time. Bummer. I really missed that feature. And then on the uh, 3D edition, we'll just take a look here. No, nope, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. I guess it's just because they, um, the, the Blu-ray has both the 2D and 3D versions, so obviously that's going to take up like considerably more disk space. So they just uh, shuffled all the extras over to their own disk, which makes sense. You know, got to save on that disk space. Okay, next up. Now, obviously, having the first five in steelbook form, I wanted to have the last one in steelbook form to have a consistent set. But, uh, now, okay, apparently there was a Best Buy exclusive steelbook, um, which uh, I guess I'll show you a picture of right now. I was hoping to do this all in one take with no editing, but whatever. Here's a picture of it. Look, see? That's the Best Buy exclusive steelbook. I didn't know this existed. Um, and also you notice it's a 4K disc. It's the first one that was released primarily in 4K. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I never got that one. So a little while ago I went on the hunt to find a steelbook edition. And well, I got this one. Right here. Now this is one from, I still have, actually have all the stuff on it, but uh, this is one that's actually from the Netherlands, I believe. <laughs> so it's region free. So that's all fine and dandy. But uh, but if we look on the back here, um, th there's no English anywhere on the writing on the back. It's got English audio, obviously, for the movie and the menus and stuff for, you know, as far as I know, English. But... Um, but all the text on the back is uh, not English. So let's just uh, let's just take this off here. And uh, wow, and it, and it includes an ultraviolet um, digital copy. That's really useful now, now that ultraviolet's dead. I think they all include ultraviolet digital copies, actually. And um, well, we all know what happened to Ultraviolet. Okay, there we go. So there's the uh, the nice, clean artwork. And we'll just... Uh, and then here's the spine. Not a black spine with white text this time. But, I mean, it still goes fairly well with it. And there's the back. Very nice. And if we crack this open, I'm just going to take the uh, digital copy code out. Yeah, here we go. So there we have all of the artwork. Very nice. Uh, and inside two discs. So we got a disc for the movie and then a region free bonus disc, which I think actually includes some extras that uh, were not available here, maybe? Actually, no, I, I know it was. I remember now, sorry, I forgot. Um, what this is, because this is a foreign release, this bonus disc contains a lot of the extras that may have been retailer exclusives over here, because of course, they don't have a lot of those stores overseas. So, so this disc contains all of that retailer exclusive stuff on one disc, which is really freaking handy. Wouldn't it be nice if they just did that here and didn't bother with all this retailer exclu exclusive crap? I hate that. I hate that. Anyway, just give me everything in one comprehensive edition and call it a day. So anyway, there we go. So, um, yeah, in terms of the extras, let's see. Uh, exclusive Blu-ray extras Ukmet. We have Rack Modes met Paul and Mila, Stunts and Weapons, Sneak Peek for Resident Evil Vendetta, uh, Aunt, Aunt Deck the Hive, 
the Badass Trinity and the Ruin Van Resident Evil. Oh. And then the bonus disc. Okay, this is what we really want to know about. The bonus disc has Bijna 30 Minuten Exclusiev content. Inclusiev. Het Regerseren Van The Final Chapter. It has Rolla Als Cobalt. Van Script Tot Sherm. And Mir. I think and Mir is and more. Actually, that's that's not e difficult to suss out what those words are. They're actually very similar to English words. But anyway, uh, 30 minutes of bonus content on that disc, which is pretty cool. Um, now, in terms of <laughs> what actually did that all say? Well, let's take a look at this edition, shall we? Yes. Yeah, so, being bummed that I couldn't find a Steelbook edition anywhere, I just bought the regular edition. I did at least get the steel or the Steelbook, the uh, slipcover with it, so... You know, good stuff. And there we go. Ultraviolet again. And there's the spine. So it was just kind of irking my OCD that I had one edition in a regular keep case with a slip cover next to all these beautiful steel books. So, yeah, just kind of annoying. Yeah, so if we crack this open here, hey, check it out. Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, I played that. That was really good. I well, enjoyed that immensely. Uh, and then the disc, no discard or anything. It's just just the disc. And I don't think there's even anything on the back. Of, oh, no, there is a little bit of, on the back of that. So, Own these great titles today. Which ones of these do I have? Uh, I have that one, and I have that one. I don't have this one, and I don't have this one. I actually forgot that they'd done a remake of The Magnificent Seven, which itself was a remake of Seven Samurai. But um, there we go. So let's see what we got on this one here. I'll just read it off the back of the uh, slip cover. So let's see. Okay, Blu-ray exclusives. We have Retaliation Mode. Director Paul Anderson and Mila Jovovich break down key moments and discuss the franchise. Sneak Peek, Resident Evil Vendetta. Stunts and Weaponry. Also includes Explore the Hive, the Badass Trinity, and the Women of Resident Evil. So, so yeah, so there's definitely a few more extras on this uh, steelbook from the Netherlands. That bonus disc. All the stuff that was on that bonus disc is nowhere to be seen on the regular edition. So, actually really glad I got this. And it wasn't that expensive either, considering I had to import it. Um, it really didn't cost very much. So, yay. But, of course, now that I know that there actually was a domestic steelbook. <laughs> I, I kind of want that now, too. <laughs> yeah. The joys of being an obsessive collector, right? Alright, so next up, last but most certainly not least, we have the animated movies. Yes, the CG animated movies. So the first of which, of course, was Resident Evil Degeneration, which I mentioned earlier, I sadly did not get the steelbook. Um, yeah, the Steelbook for this came out the same time as the first three movies as part of the same sort of collection. Um, Future Shop exclusive in Canada, Walmart exclusive in the States. And that is that. In fact, since I'm having to do a little bit of editing on this anyway, here's a look at the Steelbook. Hey, look at that. It's so pretty. Yeah. Beautiful. And yes, the spine would look pretty much the same as the others so it would line up nicely and everything so anyway let's take a look at this so there we got that and we got uh i think we looked at that already all right let's crack it open here and we have not much to speak of inside actually we do have some very nice disc art and uh a pamphlet here from sony all about the wonder and splendor of blu-ray and there we go i think we've seen this pamphlet before in other closer looks. It was pretty common. Oh, look, there's some interior art. I didn't think there was. There we go. Can we uh, get a slightly better look at that here? All right, of course, tinged blue because Blu-ray, right? But there we go. I have not watched the CG movies yet. I've heard they are excellent. I might uh, sit down and do a triple bill of them at some point. The intent, actually, uh, what I'd like to do is just review all of the movies. Just give you a nice review series. Don't ask me when. I might never do it. But it's something I'd like to do at some point, maybe. We'll see. All right, so there we go. And this, of course, being the Canadian release, there is French 
which is exactly the same, except they have little hyphens over the E's. Like, was that really necessary? Did you really need to make that distinction? Probably a legal issue or something. I don't know. Anyway, the second movie was Resident Evil Damnation. Yeah, there we go. Oh, let's go over the extras first. Well, you know what? Let's look at this, then we'll go over the extras for both of them. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Just flying by the seat of my pants here. So we got... Uh... Oh, somebody honking their horn. That's what we have. Anyway, uh, you know, decent number of special features on these. We'll uh, go over that in a moment. And there we go. Very nice disc art. Looks like we got the liquor. And... Uh... Slide this out. Oh, not tinged blue. Actually, full color this time. Oh, look at that. That is nice. That's something right out of your worst nightmare. Now, we'll just take a quick peek and see how that looks under the disc as well. I like to be thorough on these things. There we go. There we go. Uh, liquor coming to eat your disc. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's take a quick look at the extras for degeneration. So what do we got here? We have a look at the Resident Evil Five video game. Gives you some idea how long this franchise has been running. Uh, the generation of degeneration featurette, voice bloopers. Faux Leon interview. Oh, nice. They have like a fake interview with Leon. Resident Evil Degeneration trailers and character profiles. So that's, you know, a nice, decent selection of extras there. And then on Damnation, we have uh, the making of Resident Evil Damnation, the DNA of Damnation, Gag Reel, Las Plagas, Organisms of War featurette, and exclusive to Blu-ray, a conceptual art gallery. Very nice. That's pretty cool. And then finally, last but not least, we have Resident Evil Vendetta. Yeah. There we go. So the trilogy of CG films. It's almost like, well, if you didn't like the live action movies, you can watch these CG movies and maybe they'll be do more more to your liking, you know? So there we go. So this one, uh, no interior art. We have some lovely disc art on the main, uh, or no, actually, this is the bonus disc, yeah. You know, bupkis for a disc art for the main movie disc, but some very nice disc art on the bonus disc. So that's actually kind of nice that they split them up like that. That's uh, not something you, you see very often for sort of studio animated film releases like this. You usually try to cram it all on one disc. So we got the movie here and bonus features. Let's see what we got for bonus features. I'm guessing there must be a lot if they needed a second disc. So, okay, special features on the Blu-ray movie disc. We've got filmmaker audio commentary. Oh, that's cool. We didn't have that on the other ones. Um, stills gallery. CGI to reality, the, the creature. CGI to reality, designing vendetta. And a motion capture set tour with Dante Carver. That's pretty cool. And then on the bonus disc, we've got the BSAA Mission Briefing, Combat Arias, Designing the World of Vendetta, and Tokyo Game Show Footage. Very nice. Okay, so now let's first take a look at how the entire Steelbook collection would look on your shelf. So a little something like that. Yeah, like I said, I really like how all these line up. I just wish that the the last one was consistent. But uh, but yeah, I mean, the first five go together really well, and you can see why I wanted to have a Steelbook edition to kind of, uh, you know, complete that set. And then uh, I guess if we add everything else... <laughs> that is totally not in order. One second here, and I'll put them all in order. Let's make it as janky as possible, shall we? So we'll do uh, do that, and we'll do that, and uh, hmm, what else? Uh, 
oh yeah we'll do uh we'll do this <laughs> and then we'll put this here and put this here okay there we go are you ready are you ready here we go here we go ta-da yeah look at that it, it definitely doesn't look as as clean with all of the other additions kind of technically slotted in where they should technically go so i think what i'm actually gonna do is something slightly different for my uh shelf collection there let me just uh let me just show you kind of how i'm thinking we're gonna put it on the shelves uh there just to kind of keep it a little neat and a little more neat and tidy we'll go uh yeah, I think something like this is probably how it's going to go. So we'll go we'll go like this instead. Yeah, I think that's a little that makes a little bit more sense, don't you think? So we'll have all the steel books together to have that little set. We got the 3D versions. I guess I got to track down the 3D version of that now, don't I? Apparently there's a, a 3D edition of the Resident Evil 6 steel book that includes the 3D movie, but uh you know, it'd be nice to have the three 3D ones in 3D, but um, so that means I'll have ended up buying the th the sixth one like three times. Yep, I'm a freak. Anyway, uh, and then of course the three animated movies. And there you go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is my Resident Evil Blu-ray collection. And there you go. So yeah, I guess I still got to track down the 3D version of the last one, don't, don't I? Yeah. <sighs> A collector's job is never done. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to add any of these to your collection, I will include Amazon links in the description down below. Um, there's been so many different editions of Resident Evil, uh, even the Steelbooks. Like, there's other Steelbook editions besides the ones that I have. And, um, yeah, it would just be far too much to go into in a single video. Suffice it to say, there's been a lot. If I can find the ones that I have, if you'd like to have those, I'll try to find links to those. I don't know what they go for on the collector's market. Obviously, they were kind of limited editions, but I'll put Amazon links in the description for you regardless. And if you'd just like to see the movie, uh, I think there's a complete set of all six of them. I'll put that in there, too. Actually, there's a steel book of all six of them. I'll put that in there, too. Anyway, there'll be a bunch of Amazon links down there. Whatever's down there, enjoy. And uh, big thanks to those of you who use my Amazon links because it does help to support the show. I get a little kickback every time you use those links, and it allows you to support the show while you shop, and it doesn't cost you any more, so I really appreciate that a lot. Alrighty, well, that is it for me to you for now. Hope you enjoyed. Big thanks to you for watching. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors. Be sure to catch me on Twitch, where I stream just about every day, and I will see you next time. Until then, sayonara.